Sparkle Inspiration. My name is Arely Guzman. You can call me Ellie. I'm from Dallas, Texas. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe somewhere around here. And if you have not turned on your notification bell, please do so so you can get the latest posts. I saw this pillow and it reminded me of what God placed in my heart to start a ministry called Sparkle. Today I'm going to share with you guys my number one goal for 2020. So I have different goals throughout the year, spiritually, academically, um, in my career or whatnot, but my main focus is going to be to pay off my credit cards. I have a few goals for 2021 that requires for me to have a good credit score, um, but I know that it's going to take me longer than before when I did pay off my credit cards, 2017. I was trying to get my first car and I was working at Fidelity Investments and I just had so much encouragement to pay them off. So for three months, I took off a certain percentage of my check to go towards my credit cards and I went from my credit being 580 something to 720 something in three months. I know because of my credit history, it's going to take me longer this time but I do know I'm, it's going to be possible. I know publicly announcing this is going to help me keep myself accountable to actually do it and not spend money on other things that I don't need, like clothes, because I spend money all the time. My issue isn't using my credit cards. My issue right now is actually um, paying them off. I do have my foot in the door because in May, I did cut up all my credit cards. I haven't used them since. I only used one credit card while I was waiting for my first paycheck for my first full-time job. And the only reason I was using it was because I knew I was able to pay it. Um, but yeah, I haven't used them. And I definitely encourage you guys, if you guys have credit cards and you're trying to um, pay them off, go ahead and cut them. I'm at the store. I'm just like, oh yeah, I can't use them because I don't have them. They're cut up. So that's a huge encouragement um, for me not to have them because I know I won't be able to use them. One of the weaknesses I had, why I got in credit card debt, was giving people gifts. So just buying Christmas gifts, going to a birthday party, trying to pay pe for people. If you know me, I can be very selfish with my money, but at the same time, I love giving people things. The other thing I struggled with was buying expensive food when I was traveling, especially seafood. I always, I always go to seafood. So I definitely encourage you guys and even myself not to spend so much money when traveling on food. You can definitely buy cheaper things, especially if you're in the car. Just go ahead and get you know fast food or something. But I definitely encourage you guys on that. Like I said, it's going to take me longer to, to have my credit score go up compared to before. But I know with God, all things are possible. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. When we focus on God and seek Him, we think like Him. So He gives us wisdom even when um, purchasing items where, you know, I had a in, in, few incidents where, I'm trying to buy a particular piece of clothing and I'm just like, Ugh, I have the money for it, but I know I shouldn't buy it. And, you know, a few days later, you know, the following month, I look at something similar and I see it for half of the half of the price. You know, God knows our hearts. He knows our desires. It's not like, oh, I'm only going to give you what you want, you know, what you need. But no, he also gives us what we want, you know, but have wisdom. Do not, you know, buy expensive, expensive things. One of the things I'm working on this year is if I do not have the cash for it, I'm not going to buy it. I definitely encourage you guys to set financial goals. You know, I'm single, I'm not, you know, I'm not married, I don't have kids. Um, it's a lot easier for me to do it, but go ahead and start now. You know, if you're in, I would say in the early, early 20s, I'm 24, but definitely there's cer certain financial mistakes we make that can take us, you know, can take us on for a long time. I know it took me two years to kind of be like, okay, you know what? I need to get myself together and pay off this debt before it gets too late and I'm more in depth. So I definitely encourage you guys. So just to close off, I'm gonna pray for you guys so we can all pray together. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for um, allowing us to just be here, God. I thank you for this goal that I have for 2020 to pay off my credit cards. I pray that you give me strength um, to pay off those, you know, those credit cards and also give me strength to not buy things I don't need. Um, and even when I'm out and just trying to buy gifts for people, I just pray that you give me wisdom that even though it may not be an expensive gift, that it just comes from the heart. I just pray that you bless people with their financial goals for this next year's and the years to come, that you give them wisdom, um, that will be a blessing, not just to them, but to their families. I just pray for all the people who are struggling financially. I pray that you make a miracle in their lives. We thank you, Jesus, in Jesus' name we all pray. Amen.